I recently tried four different wick types with beeswax candles. Stay tuned if you want to see the results. Hey there, if you're new here, my name is Leah from Beeswax and Wicks and I teach all about how to make candles and how to start your own candle making business. Which wick type works best with beeswax candles? I haven't been able to find a solid answer for this anywhere on the internet so far. Most people say that it's square cotton wicks, but I tested the square cotton wicks and you'll see the results here in a little bit. So for this wick testing, I tested hemp wicks coated in beeswax, eco wicks coated in soy, square cotton wicks not coated with anything, and I tested out wood wicks for the first time. And I was actually pretty surprised by how the wood wicks turned out. Some things I do want to note about beeswax candles before we even get started talking about wicks. Beeswax has a very high melting point of 144 degrees Fahrenheit. The second thing I'm going to note is that I did make these candles with a mixture of beeswax and coconut oil. The reason I did that is to slightly lower the melting point of the candles because beeswax has such a high melting point. Coconut oil helps to lower that melting point just slightly. Another good thing about adding coconut oil to your candles is that it does help prevent tunneling just slightly. Here are the four types of candle wicks that I used. Here's the first wick that I used. This is a beeswax and hemp wick. It's hemp coated in beeswax. You can see that it does have a tab on the bottom. By the brand Eric X Light, and I did buy these off of Amazon. The second one that I tested out was a cotton square wick, and this is the first time I've ever used a wick that hasn't been pre-cut and hasn't been pre-tabbed. It did come with tabs that you can attach to the bottom, but the one thing I have to say about this is it does take longer and if you're going to go with this method you might want to save some time and just do all of the cutting and tabbing beforehand so that when you're making your candles you can just place them instead of worrying about having to cut them. The next one is a Eco 12 wick. This is an Eco 12 wick coated in soy. This is what they look like in the bag. The top had the name on it and I'll link all of these in a blog post in the description box below so that you can check them out. I did try out wood wicks for the first time ever. Yeah, these are what the wood wicks look like when they come in the package. This is the packaging. And they're pretty nice. I think they came with wick stickers as well. So these are the candles that I tested out. You can see that this is a three inch diameter tin and it typically holds about eight ounces of wax, but I didn't go ahead and fill them up all the way. I filled them about six ounces of wax. Let's go over which ones burned the best and which ones did not burn the best. This one is, I labeled all of them on the bottom so I could remember which ones they were. Let's go over how well this square cotton wick burned. So this is after three burns and it just kind of tunneled straight down. I think this is because it is such a small wick and the cotton just uh, does not burn as hot as hemp wicks do. I'm used to making my candles with hemp wicks. So this one, it did tunnel down, but I think if I double wick this candle, I think the word would have burned really nicely. Some of the notes that I took on the cotton square wick is that there was no soot at any point, which is really nice. Um, soot is not an initial problem with your candle. It's just carbon dioxide being released into the air. And I'll, if that's wrong, I'll put some text here telling what it actually does. Um, the flame height was one and a half inches pretty much the whole time it was burning. It got a little bit smaller, maybe one inch at some points. The melt pool was obviously not great. It only uh, came out about two and a half, two inches maybe. The melt pool was only about two inches the whole time. And as I said before, if I did two wigs, I think this would have burned a lot better. Um, this candle did not flicker hardly at all, which is really nice. That's a uh, good, that's really good for candles. If you're selling them, you don't want them to flicker out of control. And was it bright? It was kind of bright. <laughs> it was a pretty small flame, so it wasn't as bright as my other candles usually are.
let's talk about hemp wicks. I really like hemp wicks. I'm a little biased about hemp wicks because one, they're completely natural and I really appreciate that in pretty much everything. And I've been using them for four years now um, just to make candles as a hobby and I didn't know much about wicks or candle making or anything when I started buying them. I just bought them and then I never stopped buying them. This candle is like perfect because while I haven't burned it all the way down, I've already burned it for about 15 hours and it's only halfway burned down. It would probably last about 35 hours or something like that. So I'm going to show you this one. The melt pool is all the way out to the sides. And while it did tunnel slightly, I'm not super worried about that. Because hemp wicks get so hot, as it burns down, sometimes it'll keep melting the wax down just because of how hot the inside of the candle is. So with this one, um, some of the things that I noted were it did soot. I've noticed that pretty much all hemp wick candles soot a little bit. And it's only the first burn though. It's not consistently throughout every burn. It's just the first burn after an hour, it starts sooting a little bit. Flame height was about two inches for most of the burn. I think when it started flickering during the first burn and letting off some of that carbon dioxide, it started flickering. But like, I think the highest it got was about two and a half inches. The melt pool was great. As you can see, came all the way out to the edges and that's what I want. I'm not concerned with it not burning all the way down the first couple times, as long as it gets around the edges. But did it flicker? Yes, but not consistently, not all the time. It didn't flicker for the whole time that I was uh, burning it every time. It just flickered sporadically. And was it bright? Yes. Hemp wicks burn very bright and they have a nice golden glow around them. Um, it does make the inside of the candle tin look yellow because it is coated in yellow beeswax. It burns very brightly, which I really like. This is the hemp wick. I think that this one has had the best success burning through the beeswax. You can see that the melt pool, while it's not completely melted, it is probably the most melted out of all of the candles that I've tested so far. If you've made it this far in the video, go ahead and put what candle wick type you like using in the description box below. I'd like to hear what all of you guys like using as well. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Candle number three was a little bit disappointing. This is my wood wick. After burning it for five and a half hours, six hours, it still looks like this. I think the problem with this is that the type of wood wick that I bought, I don't think burns hot enough to melt significantly through beeswax because beeswax does, it does have a high melting point and I don't think that this wick burned hot enough to be able to melt it very well. Because as you can see, it tunneled, but it barely burned through any of the wax. And another problem with this is that the flame got up to like an inch and then it sunk down to like, hardly anything um, and that was just and another thing is that it was blue like it was it was blue which means that you would think that it was hotter but I think it was just burning through the wood and not burning the wax so I'll have to do more research into wood wick uh, wood wicking I'll have to do more research into wood wicking but this first burn this first test did not go well and I did burn test it twice so far the first time for four hours and the second time for three hours so I guess that's 
more of a seven hour, but the candle should not look like this after seven hours. Like, it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. Real quick, let's go over those Woodwick test results. Um, did it soot? There was no sooting because it wasn't a high flame. <laughs> flame high, very small. Um, like I said, it didn't get above one inch and then it like just kept sinking down. The melt pool, also very small. Flicker, no, but the interesting thing about wood wicks is that they do make a crackling sound, kind of like a fireplace, which was really nice. I could hear it. I could hear that the candle was burning, but um, was it bright? No, I couldn't see that it was burning from sitting on the couch. So, um, yeah, and this isn't to say anything bad against wood wicks. Like, wood wicks are really cool, and I want them to work. They just didn't work this time, and I'm going to try to do another video with a successful wood wicking test with these wax candles. cotton wick and the wood wick. My first thoughts burning these two is that this one is burning very nicely. The flame is very steady. Um, the melt pool is not huge yet. I've been burning it for about 10 minutes. This one is burning really, really hot. As you can see, the flame is bright blue. The flame's not very big, it's just blue, and that might be just because it's wood. I've never used a wood wick before, so I'm not sure if this is normal. It also is melting through the wax fairly quickly. As you can see, this one, the wax pool is a lot smaller, the flame is a lot nicer. And this one, it's just not very bright either, it's kind of dark. So we're going to keep testing these, but my first thought between these two is that I like, I like the cotton one better. I was really, I really had high hopes for the wood wick though. The last one that I'm going to talk about is the eco wicks. I was pleasantly surprised with this one. This one burned almost as well as the hemp wicks do. And uh, it had pretty much the same flame height, the same consistency. Oh, so, did this one soot? So it did. It sooted just a little bit, pretty much the same amount as the hemp wick did. But the interesting thing about this one is that this one didn't soot with like black soot. This one sooted more of a white, like almost invisible soot. I could see that it was sooting, but just barely. I just barely noticed it. Flame height was consistently between one and a half inches and two inches. It did turn uh, it did get a little bit high after burning it for about an hour just like the hemp wicks did the melt pool i'll show you the melt pool it got it tunneled it did tunnel but not nearly as bad as the cotton wick i think that this candle probably has about four more hours of life in it i've burned this one for about 15 hours as well so that's pretty good for 15 hours did it flicker? Yes and no. It didn't flicker consistently. It didn't flicker the whole time I was using it, but it did like every once in a while have like a couple like sparks of flickers. And then was it bright? It was nice and bright, almost as bright as the hemp wick, which was really nice. I could see it from across the room and if you turn the lights out, it was very bright.
So after testing all of these wigs, I feel like I can pretty safely conclude that it is the hemp wicks and eco wicks that did the best with my candles. And I did use a hemp wick coated with beeswax and an eco 12 wick coated with soy. And I think that both of those had a really nice melt pool. I could smell them while they were burning. I did use lime and orange oil uh, and about, I used about 150 drops, I think for a batch of four candles. I think that I, I got a really good hot throw, a fairly consistent hot throw from the hemp and the eco wick candles. I would say that the hemp wick had the best melt pool and the best hot throw. So I think I'm going to continue using those. I'm going to do another video testing a double wicked hemp candle once I find the jars that I'm going to be using for my candle line opening in the summer. I am super excited about that. So in the summer, I don't have an official date yet, but I will be releasing my own line of candles and they're going to be all natural, ethical. I'm going to use beeswax and I'm either going to use the hemp wicks or the eco wicks. I'm going to do one more test uh, before I release that line of candles doing a double wicked container for both of those. I'm going to be using, I think 12 or 10 ounce clear candle jars. So that'll be a really fun test when we get there. Lastly, if you did enjoy this video, I would encourage you to hit the like button, hit the notification bell if you would like to keep seeing videos like this from me, and subscribe. It really does help YouTube see that my videos are helpful and that people enjoy watching them and it gets them out to more people and it helps my channel grow. Thank you for being here and keep creating. Bye guys.